another big danger of the world global warming is really really dangerous matter and we need to act with immediate effect since 2006 i've been raising awareness i have traveled to arctic where ice caps are melting unusually i have also traveled to tuvalu a Polynesian country in Pacific which may not exist around 35 years time at this current level of global warming. So we must unite and work for it. I am taking the flight to Funafuti, flight number 601, Air Fiji. On my background is Suba Airport. Look at my dress. It is like the Fijian style, which is South Pacific style. Though I am going to Central Pacific, but uh, this is the closure and Air Fiji has Two flights a week. There is a strong Xavier port in Pacific. It is traveling at 180 kilometer per hour and it is expected to touch Fiji in three days time if it does not change the direction. But so far it was one of the sea and also Fiji. Today morning is very very good weather problem absolutely whatsoever. That is the land of Prakriti visible. I have to be very careful so that it does not say I'm taking from a long distance. This is how it is visible from the plane. This uh, atoll in Pacific there are many atolls. Prakrit is no capital but it's because of the island big atoll it is Only a few minutes back, I just walked past the runway. Okay. What you are producing here? Okay, okay. Actually, this farm is uh, established in uh, two, uh, three, years, three years ago, and uh, basically is under the cooperation between the two governments, Tuvalu and uh, Taiwan. And uh, we are dispatched for years to improve the, their technical over agriculture. In the past, in the in Tuvalu, agriculture it is uh, impossible. The water level, as you see, and this is what, where I'm standing. I'm standing actually at the middle of the road. Yeah, this is the ocean. Yes, very nice to see. Now let's look. How does it see the other side on my right at a distance of 20 feet is also ocean. And you'll find the level, water level, and where I'm standing there is no much difference. Now let's look at the road through which I came. This is the road through which I came. I'm standing there. Now let's see again how is the situation of the sea. Yeah, this is where I'm standing. I take closer. So the, uh, you know, height is hardly five feet now. And today is very clear day. There is no, really, uh, no um, high winds, nothing. So in case of high winds, the water comes on the road. At Tuvalu, with me is Mr. Carl Tilly. He is the general manager of Tuvalu Philatelic Bureau. Let's hear from him the effects of global warming. Effects 
of the global warming in regard to Tuvalu. As you, you would see here, the people do realize that there is some changes in the weather pattern. And uh, in the past 10 years, the, the growing population of Tuvalu has al is also diminishing because the people are not, uh, the people are actually uh, migrating to countries like New Zealand and Australia because of the effects or the, or the impact of global warming. As seen in the, what we termed as the king tide uh, early this year, where water was actually uh, find abundant in the, some part of the islands right in the middle, as you probably have seen in some of the clips. Given my age and my, my time on this island, 40 years ago, there was no paddle like nothing, that. No, yes. nothing, nothing at all. So all are happening due to global warming. Yeah, all global. Now I'm 50 this year. I'm uh, starting to see that this is the effect of global warming. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Carl Tilly. So you heard what Mr. Mark Tilly, gel manager of Tuvalu Philatelic Bureau, said. 40 yes. years before, there was no such problem. 40 years before, he did never remember any time when the ocean water flooded the highway, but this is happening this time, and this is due to global warming. We need to take care, we need to work further, and see what best we can do.